But if we go down the line, the stats change dramatically. So welcome back, it's Nick from the Coach Station. And this next stop is about the fence. Now we all love a great shot to the fence. It can be a really great shot when the ball rebounds at an awkward angle and the players can't get it back. But what's the truth about where to hit it from? What stats can we take from the pro game and then put into the recreational game and so that we can help our players or help you as a player? So let's get into it. So what can we actually take from this, from all of those studies and pass this information on to our players? The information I've got for this video is from Sanchez Alcaraz et al. in 2020 at a World Paddle Tour event researching 489 shots in paddle. So if you want that full description, that full study, head down to the description below. 44% of all shots were overheads into the fence. 35% were volleys. And ground strokes accounted for 21% of all shots to the fence. Now this gets really interesting when we talk about where these shots are hit from. Now, generally you think you play matches and you think actually they're hit from a wide position, but they're not. Statistically, 46% of all shots are hit from, to the fence from this position on the court. So from that central position on the court here, 46% of shots are hit from that position. The left side accounts for 32. And so shots hit from this position on the court here, a third, roughly a third of all shots are coming from the left court player into the fence. Now, what do those two stats tell us? They say that if the majority are hit from this central position on the court, that we're looking for a, a less risk shot from here. The angle from the left is the left court player and probably gonna be taking more balls on this side than the right court player and can find an easier angle because it's their open side to be able to play from here. From the right hand side, somebody has to play from behind them, maybe a gancho, okay, or more of an angle from a, from a wider position, which is more high risk. So the key message there is, make sure it's low risk from the center of the court your left court player can take it, but from the centre of the court is the lowest risk. This gets even more interesting when we look at the distance here. So we've got the 8 metre mark from the net, we've got the 6 metre mark, we've got the 4 metre mark, and then we've got the 2 metre mark. Now, the stats show that from this area, from the 4 to 6 mark, that just over a quarter of shots are played from here as an overhead, and nearly a third at the pro game are played from this position, between six to eight metres on the court to the fence. It drops significantly when we get down to here, and statistically, less balls are played the closer to the net. So the balls to the fence are played in this area here, between the four metre and eight metre mark. Over half of the balls are hit from that area on the court. But the key is, should we do that as recreational players? Should our recreational players, our intermediate level, actually be hitting from this area? Is this a safe thing to do? So let's have a look. Statistically, where are the errors hit from, from distance at the pro game and see if we can relate that to the recreational game. Now, if a player is really close to the net, naught to two meters, statistically, 21% are winners and 10% are errors. From the next position on court, between two and four meters, 23% are winners, and 11% are errors. It's a similar story between four and six meters, with 23% being winners and 18% being errors. But now this is where it really drops off. So when a player is hitting between six and eight meters here, only 19% are winners and 33% are errors. And finally, at the back, between eight and 10, 14% are winners and 46% are errors. The rate of errors 
quadruples from the front of the court to the very far back. So this is super high risk over here where it's low risk here. So what would we do to work with our recreational intermediate level players? What would be the advice? So my advice here would be, this would be the maximum position here when we're talking about six meters on the court to be able to hit anywhere, anywhere towards the fence. Now, if you're still with me, you're doing really well and you're as much of a geek about statistics as I am. Now, well done. So there are three out of all four shots go cross court towards the fence. Only a quarter are hit down the line towards the fence. And now this is the reason why, because cross court, 24% are winners, whereas 12% are errors. But if we go down the line, the stats change dramatically. So down the line, statistically, 17% are winners, but 35% are errors. So 35% of balls hit here are errors down the line. So statistically, you are far better off going cross court than down the line. Now, if you're liking the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if we combine those two factors of hitting down the line plus doing it from deep, so imagine you've got a ground stroke from this position on the court and you're trying to go down the line, that's the highest risk shot that you can play. Now, the final statistic brings us from overheads, ground strokes and volleys and compares the three. Ground strokes are 25% winners when they hit the fence, but they're 31% errors. Volleys are 23% winners and 17% errors. So overheads are 21% likely to win when they hit the fence, but they're 13% likely to cause an error. So what does that mean for us? It means that overheads are the safest, from the back of the court is high risk, high reward, and volley sits somewhere in the middle. So what can we actually take from this, from all of those studies and pass this information on to our players? So firstly, cross court beats down the line. Secondly, closer to the net beats being further back to when we go towards the fence. Overheads are the most reliable shot. It's better from the center of the court. And finally, hitting the fence is about precision and timing. Use it to your advantage, but understand when the risks are. Now, the stats I'd really like, if you've got them, if you can find a study, because I can't find it, is what's the impact on the bounce of the ball closer towards the fence? Is it a better impact statistically? You would think so if it bounced closer in towards the, to, towards the bottom of the fence rather than bouncing from a, from a longer distance. So if you have a study on that or you can find something, please contact me so that we can then present that on the next video. And that's it, we've reached the end of the stop here. Now, use the fence to your advantage. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.